Hey, God bless you. Today we will be reading Ezekiel chapters 47, 48, chapter 29, verses 17 through 21, Ezekiel 30, chapter, sorry, chapter 30, verses 1 through 19, 2 Kings chapter 25, verses 27 through 30, and Jeremiah chapter 52, verses 31 through 34. We read the word of the Lord, honoring the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Afterward, he brought me again unto the door of the house, and... Behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward, for the forefront of the house stood toward the east, and the waters came down from under, from the right side of the house, at the south side of the altar. Then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward, and led me about the way without unto the utter gate, by the way that looked eastward. And behold, there ran out waters on the right side. And when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits, and he brought me through the waters. The waters were to the ankles. Again, he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters. The waters were to the knees. Again, he measured a thousand and brought me through. The waters were to the loins. Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over. For the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. And he said unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen this? Then he brought me, and caused me to return to the brink of the river. Now I, when I had returned, behold, at the bank of the river were very many trees, on the one side and on the other. Then said he unto me, These waters issue out toward the east country, and go down into the desert, and go into the sea, which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth whithersoever the rivers shall come, shall live, and there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither, for they shall be healed, and everything shall live whither the river cometh. And it shall come to pass that the fishers shall stand upon it from Engedi, even unto En Eglime. They shall be a place to spread forth nets. Their fish shall be according to their kinds, as the fish of the great sea exceeding many. But the miry places thereof and the Mauritius thereof shall not be healed. They shall be given to salt, and by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side, shall grow all trees for meat, whose leaf shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his months, because their waters they issued out of the sanctuary, and the fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaf thereof for medicine." Thus saith the Lord God, This shall be the border, whereby ye shall inherit the land according to the twelve tribes of Israel. Joseph shall have two portions, and ye shall inherit it, one as well as another, concerning the which I lifted up mine hand to give it unto your fathers, and this land shall fall unto you for inheritance. And this shall be the border of the land toward the north side, from the great sea, the way of Hethlon, as men go to Zedad, Hamath, Berothah, Sibrim, which is between the border of Damascus and the border of Hamath, Hazar Hadakon, which is by the coast of Hauran, and the border from the sea shall be Hazar Anan, the border of Damascus, and the north northward, and the border of Hamath, and this is the north side, and the east side ye shall measure from Hauran and from Damascus, and from Gilead, and from the land of Israel by Jordan, from the border and the east sea. And this is the east side and the south side southward, from Tamar even to the waters of Strife in Kadesh, the river to the great sea. And this is the south side southward. The west side also shall be the great sea from the border. Till a man come over against Tamath, this is the west side. So shall ye divide this land unto you according to the tribes of Israel, and it shall come to pass that ye shall divide it by lot for an inheritance unto you. And to strangers that sojourn among you, which shall beget children among you, and they shall be unto you as born in the country among the children of Israel. They shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel. And it shall come to pass that in what tribe the stranger sojourneth, there shall ye give him his inheritance, saith the Lord God. Now these are the names of the tribes from the north end to the coast of the way of Hethlon, as one goeth to Hamath. Hazar Anan, the border of Damascus northward to the coast of Hamath, for these are his sides, east and west, a portion of Dan, and by the border of Dan from the east side unto the west side, a portion of Asher, Asher. and by the border of Asher from the east side, even unto the west side, a portion of Naphtali, and by the border of Naphtali from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Manasseh. 
and by the border of Manasseh from the east side unto the west side, a portion of Eph for Ephraim. And by the border of Ephraim from the east side, even unto the west side, a portion for Reuben. And by the border of Reuben from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Judah. And by the border of Judah from the east side unto the west side shall be the offering which ye shall offer of five and twenty thousand reeds in breadth, and in length as one of the other parts from the east side unto the west side. And the sanctuary shall be in the midst of it. The oblation that ye shall offer unto the Lord shall be of five and twenty thousand in length, and of ten thousand in breadth. And for them, even for the priests, shall be this holy oblation toward the north five and twenty thousand in length, and toward the west ten thousand in breadth. And toward the east ten thousand in breadth, and toward the south five and twenty thousand in length. And the sanctuary of the Lord shall be in the midst thereof. It shall be for the priests that are sanctified of the sons of Zadok, which have kept my charge, which went not astray when the children of Israel went astray, as the Levites went astray. And this oblation of the land that is offered shall be unto them a thing most holy by the border of the Levites. And over against the border of the priests, the Levites shall have five and twenty thousand in length, and ten thousand in breadth. All the length shall be five and twenty thousand, and the breadth ten thousand. And they shall not sell of it, neither exchange nor alienate the first fruits of the land, for it is holy unto the Lord. And the five thousand that are left in the breadth over against the five and twenty thousand shall be a profane place for the city, for dwelling and for suburbs, and the city shall be in the midst thereof. And these shall be the measures thereof, the north side four thousand and five hundred, and the south side four thousand and five hundred, and on the east side four thousand and five hundred, and the west side four thousand and five hundred. And the suburbs of the city shall be toward the north two hundred and fifty, and toward the south two hundred and fifty, and toward the east two hundred and fifty, and toward the west two hundred and fifty. And the residue in length over against the oblation of the holy portion shall be ten thousand eastward and ten thousand westward. And it shall be over against the oblation of the holy portion, and the increase thereof shall be for food unto them that serve the city. And they that serve the city shall serve it out of all the tribes of Israel. All the oblation shall be five and twenty thousand by five and twenty thousand. Ye shall offer the holy oblation four square with the possession of the city. And the residue shall be for the prince on the one side and on the other of the holy oblation. And of the possession of the city over against the five and twenty thousand of the oblation toward the east border. And westward over against the five and twenty thousand toward the west border. Over against the portions for the prince and it shall be the holy oblation. And the sanctuary of the house shall be in the midst thereof. Moreover, from the possession of the Levites and from the possession of the city, being in the midst of that which is the princes, between the border of Judah and the border of Benjamin, shall be for the prince. As for the rest of the tribes from the east side unto the west side, Benjamin shall have a portion. And by the border of Benjamin from the east side unto the west side, Simeon shall have a portion. And by the border of Simeon from the east side unto the west side, Issachar a portion. And by the border of Issachar from the east side unto the west side, Zebulon a portion. And by the border of Zebulon from the east side unto the west side, Gad a portion. And by the border of Gad at the south side, southward, the border shall be, even from Tamar unto the waters of Strife and Kadesh, and to the river toward the great sea. This is the land which ye shall divide by lot unto the tribes of Israel for inheritance. And these are their portions, saith the Lord God. And these are the goings out of the city on the north side. 4,500 measures in the gates of the city shall be after the names of the tribes of Israel. Three gates northward, one gate of Reuben, one gate of Judah, one gate of Levi. And at the east side, 4,500 and three gates, and one gate of Joseph, one gate for, of Benjamin, one gate of Dan. And at the south side, 4,500 measures and three gates, one gate of Simeon, one gate of Issachar, one gate of Zebulon. At the west side, 4,500 with their three gates, one gate of Gad, one gate of Asher, one gate of Naphtali. It was around about 18,000 measures. And the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. And it came to pass in the seven and twentieth year, in the first month, in the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, caused his army to serve a great service against Tyrus. Every head was made bald, and every shoulder was peeled, yet had he no wages, nor his army, for Tyrus, for the service that he had served against it. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will give the land of Egypt unto Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall take her multitude, and take her spoil, and take her prey. 
and it shall be the wages for his army. I have given him the land of Egypt for his labor, wherewith he served against it, because they wrought for me, said the Lord God. And that day will I cause the horn of the house of Israel to bud forth, and I will give thee the opening of the mouth in the midst of them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Howl ye, woe worth the day, for the day is near, even the day of the Lord is near, a cloudy day. It shall be the time of the heathen, and the sword shall come upon Egypt, and great pain shall be in Ethiopia, when the slain shall fall in Egypt, and they shall take away her multitude, and her foundations shall be broken down. Ethiopia and Libya and Lydia and all the mingled people and Chub and the men of the land that is in league shall fall with them by the sword. Thus saith the Lord, they also that uphold Egypt shall fall, and the pride of her power shall come down from the tower of Syene. Shall they fall in it by the sword, saith the Lord God, and they shall be desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate. And her city shall be in the midst of the cities that are wasted, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I have set a fire in Egypt, and when all her helpers shall be destroyed. And that day shall messengers go forth from me in ships to make the careless Ethiopians afraid, and great pain shall come upon them as in the day of Egypt, for lo, it cometh. Thus saith the Lord God, I will also make the multitude of Egypt to cease by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, he and his people with him. The terrible of the nations shall be brought to destroy the land, and they shall draw their swords against Egypt and fill the land with the slain. And I will make the rivers dry and sell the land into the hand of the wicked, and I will make the land waste and all that is therein by the hand of strangers. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Thus saith the Lord God, I will also destroy the idols, and I will cause their images to, to cease out of Noph, and there shall be no more a prince of the land of Egypt. And I will put a fear in the land of Egypt, and I will make Pathros desolate, and I will set fire in Zoan, and will execute judgments in No. And I will pour my fury upon Sin, the strength of Egypt, and I will cut off the multitude of No. And I will set fire in Egypt. Sin shall have great pain, and no shall be rent asunder. And Noph shall have distresses daily. The young men of Avon and of Pebeseth shall fall by the sword, and these cities shall go into captivity. At Nephanes also the day shall be darkened, when I shall break there the yokes of Egypt, and the pomp of her strength shall cease in her. As for her, a cloud shall cover her, and her daughter shall go into captivity. Thus will I execute judgments in Egypt, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Second Kings And it came to pass in the seven and thirtieth year of the captivity of Jehoiachin, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, on the seventh and twentieth day of the month, that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the year that he began to reign, did lift up the head of Jehoiachin, king of Judah, out of prison. And he spake kindly to him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babylon, and changed his prison garments. And he did eat bread continually before him all the days of his life. And his allowance was a continual allowance given him of the king, a daily rate for every day all the days of his life. Jeremiah and it came to pass in the seven and thirtieth year of the captivity of Jehoiachin, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, in the five and twentieth day of the month, that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, lifted up the head of Jehoiachin, king of Judah, and brought him forth out of prison, and spake kindly unto him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babylon, and changed his prison garments, and he did continually eat bread before him all the days of his life. And for his diet there was a continual diet given him of the king of Babylon, every day a portion until the day of his death, all the days of his life. God bless you.